Hi, this is Petey at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com, and this is part three of our day-night cycle. So let's go ahead and open up Unity and Mono Development or Mono Develop. All right, so we started off. We had these two variables here for our max brightness and our max or min brightness. Uh, since we're going to want to be able to control how much light is given off, as well as how bright the flare is, I'm actually going to just copy these two variables paste them in, but I'm going to add light up here so we can control the light separately from the flare because you might want your flare to dim and brighten, but you might not want your light to and vice versa. So this just gives you the ability to control how much light and how much your flare gives off. So since they're not private, I'm going to get rid of that. And I'll come back over here, open up the Sun script, and there we go. So I'm going to start off, uh, I'm going to say max brightness. I'm going to make it 0.5, uh, min brightness 0. And for the flare, I'm just going to take a look here. I have it set to 1. So yeah, we'll say max brightness 1. Min brightness, I'm going to say... Uh, 0.25 for that sun and then for this sun I uh, don't want it to be well actually the light part really doesn't matter because this one doesn't give off light so the only thing that matters for this one is the flare so I'm just going to ignore those first two values and for the flare I don't want it to be as bright as my other one so I'm going to start this one off at 0.5 and I'll bring it down to say 0.1 so 10% so let's go back into model develop and now I'm going to want to start getting references to those sun scripts that are attached to our sun. So what I'm going to do is just create another array which will be private of type sun because that's the name of the script and it's an array and I'm just going to call this underscore sun script. Then down here in the start method, I'm just going to set up a for loop to go through our Sunscript array. So it's just your basic loop. So we're just going to say CNT for our counter is equal to zero. CNT is less than the length of our actual Sun array, which is what we're getting up here. And we'll just increase that. Now I'm going to create a temporary variable that's a type script sun. And I'm just going to assign that to sun, then the index that we're in our loop, dot, and get component. And the component will want to get a sun. Next, we're going to want to check to see if that component actually exists. If it doesn't exist, uh, we, we, we'll just add it if it doesn't exist. So we'll say if. Now we're storing it as a temp. So if temp is equal to null, which means it did not have that component, or at least it could not find it, I'm going to throw out a debug warning. And I'm just going to say sun script not found adding it and then here's a new command you probably haven't seen yet so we're going to say sun and again the index that we're at dot now we can't add a component to the sun this way here because if you look up here it's a transform and you have to add it to its game object but we can get a reference to its game object through its transform. And then we'll just say add component. You tell it what type of component you want to add. We want to add a sun. And there you go. That's all you need. Now I'm going to take that temp line up here. I'm going to paste it back down here. I'm going to get rid of where it initializes it. So now our temp is now going to be pointing to that component we just added. So after this loop was done, I am just going to say sunscript 
that the index rat is equal to temp. So let's save that off, see if it gives us any errors. Uh, just the warning that we're not using it. So let's start it up. We did get an error. Null reference. We forgot to tell it how big the sunscript was, what its length was going to be. So we'll just say sunscript is equal to new sun and the length, which is sun dot length. And of course I have a typo. So there we go. We'll stop that. I'm going to clear it. Start it up again. There we go. I want to make sure everyone went out and got the Skybox uh, blended script. Well, it's actually a shader. So we'll point that out now so everyone can go get it. It's on the Unif Unify Wiki. Uh, you might not be able to see the address up there, so I'll just include it in the description. But what you're going to want to do is just come down here, create a new folder. I'll call it Shaders. And I'm going to create a new shader in there. And I'm going to call this shader. Didn't see it. There we go. And I'm just going to call this shader Skyblocks Blended. I'll op open that up in Mono Develop. And you'll notice it has a, all your basic input for your shaders right now. I'm not going to be using any of that. What I'm going to do is just come in. Click it, copy everything that's in there, uh, go back into Mono Develop, and just paste it all in. So we'll save that off. I don't need Firefox anymore. So we now have our shader for the next part. Another thing you're going to want to do is have two different skyboxes, one for the day and one for the night. So I'm just going to create another folder for my skyboxes. I do not want it to be in my shader folder, so I'm just going to drag it out. And then put in a skybox for the day and one for the night. I'm just going to pause the video while I go grab a couple. Alright, so I've gone and grabbed two skyboxes off uh, my website. And this is going to be my night one. And for the day, I haven't actually made a day one that doesn't have a sun in it. So I'll have to get around to doing that since we have moving suns. There's no point in having one in your actual skybox. But the, what I wanted to point out was uh, when you first include your your textures in, you'll notice up here under your wrap mode it says repeat. Switch this to clamp. If you don't switch it to clamp, uh, when you create your skyboxes, you're going to see uh, seams in the corners. So I'm just going to quickly go switch my nighttime ones. Okay, and I'll leave the ones that I'm going to be using for the day uh, as repeat. So you can see the seams and then I'll just switch them back after. But for now I'm going to go ahead and create a material. And I'm just going to call this Night Sky. And then I'll come up here to the shader. And we saved it under Render FX. Skybox Blended. That's the new Skybox we're going to be using. And you'll notice you have a little slider up here and a color, but we'll get to that in a bit. Uh, let's just start off uh, adding our boxes. So uh, I'm going to add the day ones first. If you notice, there's actually two sets. You have a front, back, left, right, up, down, and then two front, two back, two left. So for the first set, I'm going to add my day. So I want the front, the back, the left, the right, the up, and the down. Now I'm actually going to add this to my scene. So I'll come into Edit, Render Settings. I'm actually going to take my night sky and drag it up to my skybox material. And it's not really a night sky since it has both of them, so I'm just going to call it Blended Sky.
Now I'm going to maximize this and I'm going to switch it to full daytime. If you notice, this is how you go to from day to night. And when I switch to full daytime, if you look, you'll see all the little lines. And that's because I did not have it blended. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm sorry, I did not have it set to clamp. So we'll go ahead and do that now. I'll pause the video while I do it. All right, so I've gone ahead and switched all these to clamp and then I've taken my blended sky material and I've gone ahead and added the night ones. So now you can see as you switch to night. Now, these aren't exactly the best sky boxes to have working together, but they'll be good enough to demonstrate how it's going to work together. So if we start it up, take a quick look, no more seams. Now we're obviously going to have to work on those flares because they're way too big for our sky.